So folks, I'm sure you've heard the news by now. Microsoft is buying Nokia, just the uh, devices and service division. And they're also paying to you know, use a bunch of their licenses for 10 years. This is breaking news and I was just wondering, what the fuck took so long? They should have done this a long time ago. That's what I told myself. But now, looking back at the overall deal and everything that's transpired over the last two years, I thought to myself, well done, Microsoft. You guys put a Trojan horse into Nokia, forced them to use your Windows Phone software, and then drive the company down into the ground, lowering their valuation, allowing for Microsoft to buy the company for a reduced price. Bravo. Excellent job. I never saw this coming. I personally thought you guys should have bought them out right from the very start, but this would do. And it's going to do. Maybe. It still remains to be seen if this strategy is going to work. And for this Stephen Elop guy, who has been running Nokia for the last two years, I'm sure he is going to be rewarded by becoming the next CEO of Microsoft. For his efforts in, you know, playing the role of the Trojan horse. My advice to Microsoft and Nokia to grow their platform and their brand. Just spend that huge hoard of cash you got. Pay developers outright huge sums of cash to develop apps for your platform. Because they're not going to come to a platform that has 3% market share. You have to give them the incentive. Once you created the incentive, then people will flock to the platform because they're not going to go to your platform when all other apps are readily available on iOS or Android. They're going to look at Microsoft's offerings and think, no Instagram? I ain't going to get this fucking phone no matter how great the camera is. So. If you were to just pay a developer, say, a couple million dollars and give them a sweetheart deal when it comes to revenue share to produce the apps on your platform, you draw them in. Yes, it's going to suck for the short term for your checkbook, but you will make up for it in the long run as your market share grows. And now that you're actually going to be producing devices with higher margins, it's definitely worth trying. Now with this whole Nokia deal, $7.18 billion, I believe it was, $5 billion for the actual division of you know the devices and services, and the other two point whatever billion is mostly going to be for licensing patents and such. This kind of uh, reminds me of the whole incident where Apple bought Next for $200 million because they needed the software and they needed Steve Jobs. This is similar to a certain extent. Microsoft needed the hardware expertise. They had the software already and they needed to combine it both under a single umbrella to help push the apps and the ecosystem. So it's, it's similar to Apple's acquisition of Next in that regard, but it's also different because I believe that this is a Trojan horse acquisition. Like Stephen, e Stephen Elop, he was sent over to Finland to bring down the company's value so that Microsoft can Come up and snatch it up. Did this actually happen? I don't know for sure, but it certainly seems like it. This is... I still can't really wrap my head around this. It's pretty fucking crazy. That's a lot of money. I don't know if this is going to work. I mean, look at Xbox One. They're taking 359 steps backwards. <laughs> oh boy, that sucked. But anyway, Microsoft 
needs new direction. And with this acquisition, I believe Stephen Elop will be the next CEO. And I think this guy has the balls to actually set the direction that the company needs, whatever direction that may be. What do you guys think? I'd like to hear your thoughts in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the like button. Favorite if you really liked it. Subscribe if you want more videos from me. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Till then, take care.